hello there hello there everyone welcome back to another video so our pair for today's um analysis is the gbp care the pound versus the canadian dollar so without any further waste of time let's get into the video right so uh as usual i do start from the four hour time frame which I am in right now, and I'll switch to a line graph to it. So here, as you can see, I have my lowest low here and my highest high there at the top, right? Now, catering for my previous can um key levels. So for me, this would be a strong key level here, and I also want to add a extra key level here. Right, because I'm seeing an extra key level there. So, uh, switching to the sticks to identify now uh, the overall direction of the market or the market structure, I'm seeing that uh, the market is giving me this uptrend here, which has been broken out of so now the overall is basically a sell since the market has previously broken out of this uptrend so moving deeper to the four hour time frame now that i have identified my key levels and the overall direction of the market i know that now should i look for more um selling opportunities since the overall is a sell, right? So that is the key level that I do want to add there, and I'll I'll tell you why. And I also want to add a zone here. I also want to add this small zone right there, right? So uh basically now uh for me to have a an entry which is obviously a sell should i have my sell stop there with uh, my stop loss being either the the key level or being just above this small zone here right so uh here if if i catered for my stop loss to be at this key level there as you can see the rest of the ratio is a good 1.51 that is more than a 1.5 <laughs> so i would take uh i would take this trade right i would definitely take this sell and even if it was my stop loss was lower to a point where it's just above this zone right there it still gives me a good restaurant ratio of 1.95 and the reason why i would put my stop loss there above the zone is because as you can see here the, the if i extend it to the left side you are going to see that here the market reacted it broke out retested here and pushed up and also here it also rejected here before it actually broke to the downside and actually retested there so it's like i have three touches or confirmations to basically um be able to consider this as a zone right so this is the first one the second one here and the third one being there so for me a stop loss to be there is because uh here the market might possibly give me a double top right there which is something like this a double top a reversal chart pattern so the market might give me something like this and my stop loss would be up just above the zone right so 
as I said, I'm gonna have I usually have stop orders. I usually have pending I usually trade with pending orders. It's 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 not really that much for me to trade with like market execution to a point where it's like if now I see a test a setup like for example this setup I just execute no. Most of the times I obviously you obviously know that uh, on my previous videos when I do uh, analyze I do talk about pending orders, buy stops, sell stops, buy limit, sell limit, right? So for me, uh I would wait for the market to actually break this red key level, uh retest and activate my sell stop and then continue towards the downside and by the time it activates me, it would have possibly given me that double top right there, right? That double top right there. So for me, it's more like it's safer to basically cater for um, a pending order there rather than having a market execution right now. So and also another thing is that if the market hit, by the time the market activates me right there, it would have you know it would have confirmed with my strategy and also like my confirmations for me to like have the trade, right? Uh my confirmations would approve to me that now my setup is ready for entries or positions, right? So yeah, that this is the analysis that I have for uh, the GBP CAD pair. It's it's pretty a simple setup. Nothing. There's there's not a lot here, so it's pretty a simple setup. I just need to be patient and wait for the market to. Um basically confirm and tell me that uh am i ready to have sales or not right and then for buys um for buys i don't really think i would cater for buys here uh no in this pair our in this case I, w I would not cater for buys even though i know that you should always cater for um buys and sells and one thing is that um we are in the overall is a sell right the overall is a sell so for me it's 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 okay for me to cater for sell only and not buys because i know that the overall is a sell right the overall is a sell for me so yeah if you liked if you enjoyed this analysis hit that like button if you have any questions uh, or suggestions comment down below and if you want more content um subscribe and um thank you for investing your time into the, the this video and also be sure to check out my other videos my previous videos on my channel to also like get an understanding of you know my strategy and how i trade you know you might learn a thing or two so uh without any further waste of time thank you for watching for watching once again and i will see you in the next video peace